good evening, guys, and welcome to the fourth round of the Summer Major Rankings, the second Summer Major Rankings. Today we will see a very interesting match, Team Pointers versus Deviants, a match that is about the impulse paint, if I'm right. Prism. Uh, Prism paint, thank you for correcting me. Uh, I will be joined here by Casper. Our broadcast will be Ghost, and do not forget, of course, Avoid is also here. So it's a very big pack of people here. Let's introduce the teams. Casper, can you introduce uh, Team Pointers for us? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, in Team Pointers, on the red base, we see Hal, Mazen, Gleb, Holyman, and Ice Storm. And maybe Avoid can uh, introduce uh, the blue team, Deviants. So on the blue team, we have Deviants, which is Lenamol, Pogmar, Snipe, Jonas, and Exo. Yeah, yeah, some big names in this match. Um, first OD box has been catched by Ice Storm, as I see. Uh, Mason already trying to pull a flag here. Hell uh, with the backup. It looks like a pretty promising attempt. Don't know if anyone can stop it even. Yeah, he just captures the this first flag after uh, only 40 seconds. They also got the first OD, uh, just like you said. So they. They got a big advantage already, but it's sandbox. Uh, usually we see a lot of captures here, so anything can happen. But if I have to make a prediction, I think Team Pointers is the favorite in this match. Uh, I mean, Deviants did win the last uh, ranking tournament, but I think Team Pointers, their lineup is just looking really strong, and it will be hard for Deviants to beat them. But uh, we will have to see. Right now it's Deviants with the attack. They got Problema there in the base. Also, Excel in the center, but he's on 1 HP. Snipe also took control of that side of the map. Yeah, we can really see Snipe really, really controlling, dealing a lot of damage to players in Team Pointer's base. So hopefully he can keep up the good work there, and Lenimo will be there to support him as well. Right now we see Problema and Excel on the left side of the blue base. Problema has an OD ready can maybe use it in attack here. They are getting joined by Jonas, trying to build here something. Lenyama on the other side with a good position to deal with a lot of damage. Also an OD box dropping. Uh, good opportunity for Jonas to do a use and take maybe. Snipe maybe. Um, they are letting Snipe catch it. The map control is, is right now for, uh, for Deviants. Yeah, Team Pointers is kind of defending now, but they're doing a good job. Uh... Deviants didn't get a flag yet, but that might change now, because Problema is pulling this flag. This can be a capture. Hell is there, but Lenyamal can definitely stop him there. And Problema is going to get his first capture, so uh, the score will be a draw again. Nice job by Deviants. They, uh, they used uh, a good Aeros OD uh, to get that flag. Yeah, well, hopefully both teams can keep up the good work, because right now it's looking like it's a draw already. So, let's wait and see. Yeah, seven minutes on the clock, of course, still. Both teams trying to uh, create something here, but playing a bit passively at the moment. Also, not really any ODs ready from, uh, from the blue side, from uh, Deviants. Mm -hmm. True, yeah, it's Team Pointers now with the ODs. They got four in total. The only OD they're missing is the Crusader D, but that's not the most important OD uh, overall. So, nice OD by Gleb here. He uh, gets two players. He can take this flag, but he's on low HP. He m might want to pull this to Mazen. Also, uh, an OD by Hell, but that's not going to reach Gleb. But uh, they're probably going to capture this anyway, but... There's still an opportunity for Deviants to get the return, but Ice Storm is using his Viking OD here to secure the capture. So Team Pointers is back in the lead. There is an OD box in the middle. They can definitely take that if they want to. I think Mazen will take it because he just used his Paladin OD. Maybe they can go for another capture, but uh, Deviants is really strong now with the defense. They're just trying to make sure uh, they're not going to get another capture. Precisely, precisely. We can see Mazen making and trying to make attempt to pull the flag, but he gets taken out by Jonas just in time. We see a Gleb Hell and Mason now trying to create something here. Mason using his overdrive, while the only backup for him is Hell. I don't know if that was a very good uh, time to use your overdrive, but still can do a lot of damage here. Maybe Ice Storm can get it to the mix there. Gleb in the mix there. 
trying to create an attack and it's looking pretty good so far uh it's beautiful to see how they can create such attacks i, I thought that overdrive was a bit missed but they still managed to pull with that od i don't think this is going to be a capture though but it's very interesting how they built up those attacks and it's looking very good so far yeah, Mazen did a good job uh, surviving there, but unlucky for him that didn't result in a capture. They did get pretty far, but the defense from Deviants was just too strong there. But yeah, most uh, of the players from both teams have used up their ODs. I only see uh, a Paladin and a Crusader D from uh, Deviant, so they might want to set up uh, an attack very soon. It, they're still uh, one flag down, so they got to do something. But yeah, uh, next OD box is dropping its team pointers with the map control now. I storm there in the middle. He did have to use his repair, but uh, he's probably gonna take that. Also, uh, Paladin OD by Excel. Deviance is trying to create uh, an opportunity to pull a flag, but it's only Excel that's alive now, and uh, we can possibly uh, pull a flag. And well, we can see Exo having a little bit of trouble, but Exo really abusing the containers and. Making an advantage with Derricka, giving shots to Hollyman and takes out a previous player just now. But problem are, on the left side, camping at house, maybe he might be able to be annoying here. And he uses his OD, but shoots out the house. I wonder if he, if he was trying to destroy the house or hell. Who could it have been? But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, hell now trying to take over that spot. He can deal some good damage from there. An OD by Holy Man there. Um, Ice Storm uh, pushing in. He has OD, OD ready, but he dies quickly, sadly, for uh, for the Team B team. Right now, uh, pulling with Mason. And it was a very, very good time pull by Mason. He man managed to be in the good time at the good moment. And 1 3, and right now it looks like the first round uh, is going to uh, Team P. Yeah, that's, the Crusader D from Hollyman created the opportunity for Mazen to get that capture. So that was nicely done. Only a Crusader D for a, a capture is really nice. Also a nice OD by Ice Storm. Takes out three players and is going to pull this flag. If you ask me, uh, this is probably going to be another capture, but they're not there just yet. There's also another OD, so they got to focus on two things now at the same time. But the same goes for Deviants. They, they really need this return because... If Team Point is going to capture this like they are doing now, it's I don't think Deviants is going to come back from this. I agree, I totally agree. And I've noticed Team Point has very good map control right now. Really, really camping at the containers. Hollyman giving shots and really, really being frustrating to the players on Deviants. So that's very good to see. Good control for Team Pointers. So yeah, um, Mazen now trying to create some uh, opportunities to uh, pull a flag, but he got taken out. So now it's uh, Deviant's turn to uh, try to do something. They're all pushing out now, Jonas and Problema there, trying to create some trouble for Hell. But Hell is standing his ground, but gets taken out now uh, in the end. Jonas had to use his repair though, so I don't think he's going to do much now. He's just trying to secure that side of the map, make sure that uh, Team Point is not going to come through. But there's still three flags down. It's it's looking really uh, rough for them. Yeah, like you're mentioning, it's looking pretty rough. But the problem are they're trying to pull the flag, but he's having a lot of trouble from Hell, really giving him a lot of damage there. And Snipe there in the middle alone, and Gleb is really controlling the containers. But can Deviants take the OD bots? Yeah, they can. So they uh, they got their arrows OD back, but maybe Problema can pull, but he missed the flag, so that's not going to happen. Yeah, maybe they can get one more flag, but they're definitely not going to win this round. So they, they might have to try next round to uh, try to come back from uh, this one. But yeah, the, they are playing decent now, but I think that's because Team Point is just holding back now and just trying to make sure... Uh, Deviance is not going to come back and uh, get that many captures. Yeah, I guess it's just the best play they can make, but 
with 40 seconds left on the timer, our defense won't really be able to do much, to be honest. No, yeah, 4-1 uh, four, four will be the end score of this round, I think. Uh, Held doing one last attempt here with Ice Storm to make it to 5-1, but uh, this round has been very well played by, by team pointers. And I'm I am a bit scared that, that uh, Deviants cannot really react in the second round and come back from this. But let's hope they have some counterplay and they uh, can make some entertaining rounds. I mean, they they didn't play bad overall, but Team Pointers is really good with that map control. That also allows them to take uh, many of the ODs that are dropping. Yeah, I think this this round was definitely uh, well deserved by uh, by Team Pointers. I I think like their defense, their map control, even the like the way they pull, especially with that Crusader and Arrows OD, they're just really strong, and I think that's. Uh, allows them to win this first round. Precisely, precisely, Casper. Exactly what you're mentioning. It's, it seems like your analytical skills are on point today because team pointers are really, really dominating this round. So hopefully they can keep up the good work for the next rounds and the upcoming ones to be played for this finals. Yeah, if, if this is how, how team pointers is playing and this how the other teams are playing against team pointers um, is going to be a, a big year for them in this in, in this major, I think. Um, but yeah, this is only the second round, of course, and we also see an, uh, another map. I don't know which map exactly. Let's check real quick. Sandal. Um, so let's see how Deviants will react on Sandal and first how Deviants will react on the second round here. Uh, the first OD already has been catched by team pointers, so... That advantage is still from them, but it's only a Hunter OD. So let's see how big that advantage is. Yeah, we're going to have to see, like you said. But um, I think a, a nice fun fact is, is that only those two teams, those are the only teams that beat Diamonds before. I don't know why I have to mention Diamonds, but that's one of the big teams. And they only got beaten three times, two times by Team Pointers and one time last tournament by Deviant. So... These are definitely one of the best teams in the whole tournament. I think that's also the main reason they made it uh, this far, because they're currently playing for Prism. And yeah, I think in this tournament, Team Pointers has been really strong. They uh, they did beat uh, Matrix. It's one uh, one of the strongest teams uh, this tournament as well. And I think Deviants they they didn't really play a top team yet, so this is like their first really hard opponents, but. They did win last tournament, so that also says a lot. So yeah, let's see uh, how this round will turn out. Uh, both teams are currently self-destructing, and they're they're about to start. Yeah. Well, go away and see. Honestly, I packed my my dinner tonight, so I'm ready here, prepared, and honestly wanting to see a good match. The OD box is dropping right now. I storm already making an attempt to go to the middle to. Time to capitalize on the OD bots. It looks like Ice Storm manages to take it just in time. Yeah, there's now two ODs in favor of Team Pointers. It's a very good start. Also, a Viking overdrive. Um, yeah, you can have some very good plays with that, especially at the start of the match when no one else has an overdrive to counter it. Um, right now, we see Holy Man on the right side of the red base doing a lot of damage in the midfield and doing damage on Snipe right now. He's in a very good position there with Gleb. Um, the map control is a bit 50-50. It depends on which side of the map you're looking at. Uh, so both teams starting pretty even, I think. Although not if you take ODs in accountability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's mainly Team Point is now who's taking over that map control. But I think Mazin can get the first pull here, but Klepp is taking the flare. I don't think that was a smart choice. He drops it uh, off right after he realized it wasn't uh, the smartest choice. And Mazin got taken out now. I think this could have been a pull if they were a bit faster. If Mazin took that flag, then it might have been uh, a capture, but yeah, also got a bit unlucky there because he, he got shot by that, uh, by that ricochet, I think. So that's how he got taken out. So the score will remain the same. Uh, it's still no captures just yet. I think that's going to happen very soon. Look at Ice Storm. He is going to take this flag, but he probably doesn't see XL who spawned behind him. 
Maybe Holy Man can help him out. He missed his OD because the player already got taken out. But the flag is still there. Lenya Mal gets stunned by Gleb. Gleb is also going to take this next OD, but XL gets the return. So no capture just yet for team pointers. Wow. What a good, good, good start for uh, both teams, I guess, pretty much. Mazen manages to take out Problemar just in time. Problemar was very, very low as well, so he wasn't be able to do much right there for that situation. Gleb here stuns two individual players. I don't think he manages to tag Lenamore just that time. Ice Storm here hopefully might be able to pull the flag, but he leaves it for Hollyman. Hollyman snatches the flag, has support there from Hell. Gleb manages to respawn by self-destructing. Hollyman alone by himself. No players will be able to give him shots to strike on. Nope. And it's a successful capture for Team Pointers. Yeah, very well timed there, leaving the flag for Holy Man there. Uh, coordinated attack, and that's the 1 0, and the 1 0 that Team Pointers needed. Um, now, maybe uh, Devins with the counter, good OD by Snipe. Uh, oh, Problema will take the flag here. He uses repair. Um, it's hard to defend this capture still, but Hell with an overdrive there on the left side of the blue base. He's the only one that can still make this, uh, but it's going to be 1-1 one, one there. A quick counter-attack by Deviants, and again, like last round, uh, three minutes has been played, and it's a tie once again. Yeah, let's hope for Deviants that it's not going to turn out the same as last round. Excel's trying to pull, but he is on low HP, gets taken out now. Uh, by Gleb. Maybe Mazen can pull with his Paladin OD. Gotta watch out for Snipe. But oh, so many players of, of Deviant spawn now, he's not gonna get this pull. So XL gets the return now. And this, yeah, I think Gleb took that OD. I didn't really pay attention, but I think he did. And yeah. Yeah, yeah you're both right. Teams, there. Both teams are looking good with ODs. And sorry, go on. Ah, uh, no, you, you finish. Go ahead. Uh, no, I was, I was cooking. Thinking. I'll let you cook. No. Go, go, bro. No, nah, bro, you, you can say, you can say. Okay, um, well, pretty much we could have saw that um, Gleb, Gleb did take the OD, by the way. Mazen there trying to make an attempt to pull the flag. Hell there, alone, giving shots. Maybe he's not alone. He's got support there from Hollyman and I. Storm. So hopefully we can see a successful capture for Team Pointers once again. No one's there to give any shot to I. Storm, and it's a capture there for Team Pointers. Yeah, so team points again in the lead, 2-1 right now. Um, a good attack by Ice Storm there. Mason right now in a good position to make a pool. Lenyamo, Excel, and Problema all on the left side of the uh, red base. Not really uh, being able to hit Mason here. Mason goes to the yeah the good side, the clean side of the base. No one there. And this is going to be a very quick 3-1. And I think that was a bit misplayed by Deviants to uh, make the side of the map totally open. And not being able to defend this capture. Mm. Something I've noticed is that every time Team Pointers uses a uh, Ares or Viking OD, there's a capture. They really utilize their ODs uh, uh, to the fullest. But hopefully they can also take this next one because that will definitely help them secure this win. But Excel is going to take it. Deviants definitely needs this comeback because if they're going to lose this round as well, it's going to be really hard to win the match. I mean, Excel did use a really nice OD, but they gotta break through the defense of team pointers, and they're not succeeding uh, so far. But maybe uh, with the help of Jonas now and Snipe, maybe Lenyamal, they they can break through and get another capture. Wow! Well, we can see team pointers really controlling this space right now. Jonas there alone. I mean, he's got support from Lenyamal, so maybe. Something care can be done, but Holy Man just takes him out just in time before you could get around the corner. Yeah, indeed. Defense there by uh, by Team Pointers. We right now see Problema, Excel, Snipe, and Jonas all trying to uh, break through that defense. Uh, but yeah, Team P knows, Team Pointers knows in what position they are in. They know that they have the lead by two captures. Um, so uh, playing more defensively, uh, playing more passively, uh, yeah, that's just making the defense so much easier for them right now. Uh, although Snipe, as he uses here, he can heal himself once again. A good position here. Uh, Problema with an OD, a bit missed though. That could have been uh, the difference, maybe. Uh, although the flag has not been returned yet, Lenyamal can just take over here. 
And oh, by the way, look at Mason. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, he was pulling that flag, so this will probably be a standoff. But you don't have to forget, Sandbox is a map where you can easily lose uh, a two flag lead. So it it's definitely not over yet. But I think a standoff uh, at this point is going to be really uh, rough for uh, Deviants. Because a standoff here can take really long. Yeah, and the standoff is one of the best things Team Pointers can uh, have, I think. Um, you don't have to defend your own flag anymore, just one player. And the time is ticking. 2 minutes and 30 seconds left for uh, Deviants to make this a draw. And every second is closer to victory for Team Pointers. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's definitely the best thing that could have happened. But maybe if they can get the return fast, they can do something. But I think Team Point is this, uh, taking over control yet again. If you look at uh, at the size of the map, you see Glap uh, controlling their defensive side. And at the same time, Ice Storm is also there. Got, gets taken out by XL now, but... It's it's not the worst for team pointers. They got a lot of ODs as well to defend their flag. Yeah. Yeah, and while we are saying this, it's only 1 minute and 45 seconds left. Time is ticking. Holyman sitting in that base snipe with an OD here, but Gleb counting that over, countering that overdrive. Uh, Hell now trying... To, to make a return here, Jonas with a good OD can use and take. Jonas can be important here in this match uh, and in the future of, of the tournament for Deviants. They have to make a return here if they still want to make this a draw. Yeah, I think it would have been better for Hell to shoot that OD at Jonas or just uh, wait it a bit longer to use his OD. Because now uh, the OD uh, got taken by Jonas. Well, it, it should have been an easy OD for Hell, but. Yeah, they, there's only one minute left now, and yeah, I don't think uh, any of those, those teams are returning. Mm -hmm. I really like how Team Pointers were playing, even when the standoff started. Like, they were playing very defensive and controlling the containers, and really, really wasting time for Deviants. And Deviants didn't really pick up on it, as there are only two flags behind, so they wouldn't have been able to do much. So Team Pointers really took the advantage of understanding and analyzing the game and seeing that they were up two flags so they didn't bother playing too aggressive um, for this current situation that's going on now. Yeah, you're definitely right, Team Pointers. I think it's very good at uh, at playing how, how it's needed at that moment in time. Uh, and yeah, they managed to win this round once again by a standoff of more than three minutes. Uh, I think it's very well played for this round once again. Yeah, I agree. The next map will be Sandal, but it's it's not a map where you have a lot of draws. I mean, there, there are some draws uh, sometimes, but it, it, I think Deviants can make a comeback, but at the same time, Team Points is looking so strong. There might be a chance they're going to finish it in the next round. Yeah, I agree with you. I think the chance is pretty big, to be honest. Um... Last rounds were just pretty dominating from Team P, and I don't see Deviants, although I really want to see more rounds of this match, I don't see Deviants turning it around this time. Wow. After what's your thoughts? On who's going to win? Yeah, on who's going to win. Uh, I have to say Team Pointers. I mean, I already uh, guessed Team Pointers was going to win at the start of the match, but... After those two rounds, it's already 2-0. Now I, I'm pretty sure Team Pointers is uh, going to take this uh, victory. What do you think? I mean, I, listen, man. I don't want to speak too soon. I know you guys and Jack really have a habit of talking too soon and then manage <laughs> to jinx it and everything just turns around and then the other team manages to control. So I don't want to be wrong, so I'm just going to sit on the sidelines and say, we would just have to wait and see on Yeah, that's a bit boring. That's... <laughs> yeah. The, the smart choice, of course, the smart choice. Um, I think we have jinxed it a couple of times, indeed. Um, 
I definitely did. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, at the same time, there's a, another match for Prism, uh, Red Notice against Pepega. That's currently 2-0 for Red Notice. So I also wonder how that's going to turn, uh, turn out. I mean, fingers crossed Pepe Pepega wins, you know, because I want to see my guy Jack with some prison paint. I'll be real. Yeah. yeah he's he's got to do some magic to make that comeback. No, nah, he probably sits at the bench. <laughs> yeah, he's not playing, but he, uh, I mean... <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm in a goofy mood today. But yeah, that will be an interesting match as well. I'm very curious about that score. Um, but yeah, first, the third round of this match. Maybe the last round. To be honest, um, I didn't expect a three-round uh, game. So I really hope it's the four-round game. I I really didn't expect a three-round game for, uh, for a final. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I mean, it, it's a good matchup. Like the the winner of the last tournament against one of the strongest teams in tanky history. That's a big word, tanky history. But I mean, Team Pointers, they have been playing for so long. It's like a, a clan that exists for so many years now. Mm. Hey, won, not yeah, they, I mean, yeah. they, they've won so many pains and have so many achievements like not everyone expects them to uh do well every tournament so true so true even in xbbp and like the the old formats like light and medium they were really dominating it back in the day well not really like that but they're really surprising us with this sport format especially because it seems like they're really dominating it now Yeah, the, the new formats that's closer to the matchmaking, uh, really shooting some teams, and Team Point is definitely one of those teams. Uh, they can just play so well in this format, and I don't know if we will ever see uh, new teams dominating the field. I hope so, at least, and I think Defense is a team that can can be dominating in the future. Um, but so far in this format, it's only have been two teams, and that's you have to respect them for that. Yeah, I, I think um, yeah, I think both teams deserve to win that tournament. But at the same time, I think Team Pointers probably deserves it more because they they I think they got the the harder teams uh, going into this last match. Like I mentioned before, they did play Matrix. Because if I had to guess, I think Matrix and Team Pointers were the two strongest clans going into this tournament. So. Uh, them beating Matrix is is not like the easiest task. No, definitely not. I agree with you. I mean, you're totally right. All teams self-destructing right now. So hopefully, we can see a good start for Deviants and manage to turn turn the tides. And Casper and Renke might be wrong here. So let's hope. Let's hopefully see some interesting gameplay get going on here i mean we, we've already seen a a lot of good gameplay already but yeah it's the score mainly uh went in favor of team points there's two zero already but it's definitely not over yet like you said maybe Devins is gonna make a comeback Yeah, precisely, precisely. But we can see Idot. Sorry, why do I keep saying Idot? I Storm there managed to get taken out by Jonas and Mazen there giving shots to Jonas and he gets taken out. So the OD box is dropping right now in the middle of the match. So hopefully one team might be able to capitalize on that. But I snipe there and Exo swoops in and snatches the OD box and says, I'm excelling today. So hopefully we can see more of him today dominating the match you with this OD boss. With, with, with Dragonite, have you? <laughs> yes, you noticed. I noticed. 
Oké, okay, I had some problems with the launcher, but I'm finally back in the game and um, it looks interesting on this map. We see, of course, a lane more problema excel on the left side of the red base. So far, any attacks that has been started or not? Mm, not really, to be honest. Uh, both teams are uh, like kind of patient uh, with their attacks. They uh, did gather some ODs. I mean, um, Excel took the last OD, so that will hopefully help Deviants to uh, capture a flag in this round. I mean, they have been uh, looking good so far. Maybe Sandal is their uh, lucky map today. Yeah, let's see, let's see. It will be a very big comeback if they can turn this around. Of course, Deviants has to win this round, and Team Point just only needs a draw. So they have a pretty easy position. But still, they have to finish it in a draw or a win, of course. Every card is still up on the table, but it will be difficult for the Deviants. It's not possible to deny that. Yeah, the round can't be uh, over soon enough for Team Pointers. They definitely want this win to secure that Prism paint. I mean, it's a really nice paint, so... Yeah. Oh, nice OD by Hollyman, but that was just a bit too late. Uh, Snipe still took that OD. Even though he had it already, uh, he made sure that none of the players from Team Pointers were going to steal that OD from him. I mean, right now, the match is kind of looking a little bit balanced here. Both teams are managing to control the map pretty nicely here. Ice Storm there giving damage to Lenamore, but he'll be getting taken out by Exo and Lenamore both here. Problem mark, just... Really, really been annoying there on the right side of the map. Giving shots to Hollyman, trying to make an opening for the left side, but really can't really do much here from Poplima. Yeah, as you said, both teams trying to, to create, trying to get map control, but both teams not really succeeding in big attacks. We now see Ice Storm using his overdrive, knocking out two players. Um, so yeah, not really an outstanding OD, but. Nothing terrible either. Yeah, I think I storm had enough of all the waiting. He tried to uh, create some chances or opportunities for his team to push with uh, with the help of his Viking OD, but that didn't work out. He took out two players, but uh, none of his teammates really uh, created an attack OD by uh, hell. But Holy Man is not taking the flag just yet. Kind of a wasted OD from Lenyamal. He probably thought Mazen was out. Uh, on full HP, but Hollyman still pulling OD by Snipe, but that's probably gonna miss. Hollyman went to the side, but he runs straight into Jonas. Jonas can probably take him out with his OD. And Mazen can probably take over this flag, but there are so many players from Deviants, I won't be surprised Ooh. if he gets taken out, but he missed the flag and Jonas returns. I Mazen looked like he was drifting around the map, like he was just moving too far. Maybe a bit of waffle going on there, but... Um, it happens sometimes. Sometimes you're just moving too fast to manage to take the flag and do something there. So hopefully Mazen can really um, seize the opportunity when he respawns and do something better next time. Yeah, it's not a moment he's probably very proud of. It was a frustrating miss of the flag. It could have made a difference of this map, uh, of this round, of course. But remember, it's still a tie and still good enough uh, for team pointers. Um, you don't have to be proud of every round, you only have to win it. And they are still doing that. Um, so I really have to see some good attacks by Deviants here in the last five minutes if they want to turn it around. Mm, yeah, I agree with you, but it, I think with that capture, they already could have uh, secured that win because Deviants is not going to capture two flags in such a short amount of time. But yeah, at the same time, uh, Team Pointers is still on track to get the win as long as Deviance doesn't capture in the next four minutes. Or if Team Pointers captures a flag, they, they're good uh, to go. Because, yeah, with a tie, they will win this match anyway. So, yeah, it's looking good for them. They don't have a lot of ODs now. Only uh, Mazen has the OD uh, for, uh, from Team Pointers. But yeah, same goes for Deviance. They, they don't have a lot of ODs. Maybe Lenyamal can take this OD. He does. He was on low HP, but he still uh, took it, even though Team Pointers kind of had that map control. Yeah, but we need to see some better map control from Deviants, hopefully, fingers crossed, and they can capitalize on the OD bots that they've just taken. Um, Lenamore there by himself, really, just trying to give shots to Hell. 
Jonas coming in. Um, but I don't think they really noticed that Mazen's there with his OD and he's pulling the flag. So, Renke, I'll let you take this over pretty much. Yeah, Holy Man, they're trying to uh, keep pulling this flag. Problema there with the OD and he will force a return. He will not force a return right? because Ice Storm is at a good position, but not in a position to take over that flag and a good spawn here by the Crusader and returning the flag pretty easily. Uh, three minutes on the clock and still an, uh, no successful yep. attacks has been uh, made so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Deviant started really strong in this round, but I think they're lucky that Team Pointers didn't capture our flag yet because they, they have had that map control like for so many minutes now. Devians is just defending and holding on to uh, to this draw, but they, they have to do something. They they need to capture a flag in the next two minutes uh, and 35 seconds, because otherwise they're lost. So yeah, how they're going to do it, I, I don't know, because their attack and their teamwork uh, hasn't been that strong so far. Maybe they can create uh, something here with Lenyamal, Excel, and... Uh, not Jonas anymore, because he got taken out. But Excel is still on 4 HP, maybe he can do something. With, but on the other side of the map, Holy Man is pulling. This can be the first capture of this round. He is still going. I don't think he has a repair. OD by uh, Ice Storm, his Viking OD can really contribute to this capture. He takes out uh, two players. And yeah, no player from Deviants is uh, going to get this return. They were all uh, stuck in the bay. So Holy Man captures this first flag, and that means Team Point is up by 1-0 now. Yeah, you can still have hope for Deviant, but only two minutes to go um, to make two captures at least. A very well coordinated attack by Team Pointers there. Uh, at the time, it was really needed to secure this win. And I feel like they have done that. Of course, still a bit less than one and a half minutes on the clock. But I think this round has been played. I think both. I think Deviant is really, really stressing right now. And not much coordination going on for both um, for all the team for all the players on Team Deviants right now. They're really, really struggling to make a good attack attempt because right now I noticed that Team Pointers are really, really holding on the fort on their defense and not giving an opportunity for Deviants to get into their base and snatch the flag and get away in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when uh, Holyman pulled that flag, I noticed that. Three of the players from Deviants were trying to pull a flag. They were in attack and left their defense open. And I think that created the opportunity for Team Pointers to get their first capture. But that's probably because Deviants also noticed that their time was running out. So, yeah, pretty unfortunate for them. They are still trying to get a capture, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Uh, yeah, indeed. That a bit more than 20 seconds on the clock and i think we have seen seen uh, have so seen some beautiful rounds this uh, this match sadly no uh, winning positions for deviants but still made two beautiful catches in both rounds this round they did not sadly um but yeah it was a very very nice match I and mean, we have some seen some very well coordinated attacks it was good to see that once again yeah, and, and that's not the only 3-0 of today, because it seems like Red Notice is also winning 3-0 now against Pepega. Ooh, that hurts. Man, very uh, strong performance from Team Pointers, though. They really blew us away with their performance. Absolutely outstanding there. Didn't give Deviants any opportunity to really do much there this Sandal match. So, wonderful. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Yeah, I agree as well. Team Pointers have been really strong. They they definitely deserve this win. They have been uh, playing good this whole tournament. I've been looking at their games, some of them. So yeah, well played uh, to both teams. And also congrats to uh, Team Pointers for uh, winning the Prism Paint. Yeah, exactly. And if this doesn't hype people up for the Summer Major, you will see this summer. Uh, then I don't know what will. A beautiful match by... Two beautiful teams, and yeah, I'm really, really uh, curious about the future of those players in the Summer Major Rankings 3 and of course in the Summer Major. But before that all will happen, we will first see three more rounds in this Summer Major, and we will be back on the 15th of March with more eSports.
Yeah, well, hopefully Deviants can go back to the drawing board and really see what went wrong. And hopefully with the future games that they will play in tournaments, we can see a big difference against them with team pointers. Fingers crossed for them. Yep. But yeah, I think that's it for today. Uh, we've seen a nice match. And yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. And I also want to thank uh, you guys for commentating with me today. So yeah, see you guys in the next stream. Good night.